learn about the properties of microwaves, the advantages, the disadvantages of microwave signals, and few of the applications of a microwave signal, and a little introduction about the microwave vacuum tube devices. Okay, so coming for the properties of microwaves. Basically, as you all know, a microwave signal is an electromagnetic signal which can emit its radiation with short wavelength. This is one of the major important properties of a microwave. And also a microwave signal can reflect by conducting surfaces just like optical waves as they can travel in a straight line. And whenever a microwave signal is propagating, uh, we call it also, we also call it as microwave current. And whenever the micro signal is allowed to flow through a conductor, then the current flows in the conductor. It will be a thin linear structure. And one more important property of a microwave is microwave signals are easily attenuated within short distance. So due to this reason, always we try to make use of the microwave signal where it should transmit for longer distances. So that's the purpose why the microwave signals are used for longer distances where trans uh, antenna would be one of the radiating element. And one more important property of a microwave signal is they are not reflected back by ionosphere. As you all know, a signal cannot propagate through ionospheric layer very easily. It needs a higher strength to propagate through the ionosphere layer. But a microwave signal can easily propagate through the ionospheric layer, and that's the reason why they are not reflected back. So these are the important properties of a microwave signal. And coming for the advantages as well as the limitations of a microwave signal, the main advantage is as the microwave signals are high frequency signals, which is in the order of megahertz to gigahertz, always the increased bandwidth availability is I. The bandwidth availability is I in a microwave signal. So one major advantage of a microwave signal, that is when you are making use of a microwave signal for any application, Yes, it provides high bandwidth. Okay, so the main advantage is microwave signals have larger bandwidth compared to the common brands like short wave and ultra high frequency waves. So, for example, uh, whenever we are talking about a micro signal, the wavelength of the signal is one centimeter to 10 centimeter. If it is between one centimeter to 10 centimeter, then the frequency of operation would be 30,000 megahertz, uh, 3,000 meg, uh, 30,000 megahertz to 3,000 megahertz, and the bandwidth would be 27,000 megahertz. And the second important advantage of uh, microwave signals are their ability to use high gain directive antennas. So normally the medium of transmission for a microwave signal are the structures used are different. Means whenever we want to allow the propagation of radio frequency signals or microwave signals, we make use of the structures called as vagite structures or antenna structures. Uh, which can propagate, which can allow the transmission of uh, the radio frequency signals. So, if I take that consideration, the antenna is one of the major element, uh, one of the major device, the electromagnetic device, which can transmit and receive the radio frequency signals or the electromagnetic signals. And as the antenna can withstand the radio frequency signals, the Directive antennas can be utilized so that the directivity of the antenna is improved whenever we focus on an electromagnetic wave. That is second advantage of 
the microwave signal. One is increased bandwidth, and the second one is improved direct uh, directivity. And the third important advantage of an antenna is whenever a signal propagates through atmosphere, normally the effect of fading is high in if it is a low frequency signal or is a just a high frequency signal. But when we are making use of a radio wave frequency signal or is a electromagnetic signal, the effect of fading is less and it varies depending upon the signal strength and the readability of fading is also available. Okay. So when you are talking about this, you need to correlate this topic with the layers of the earth. It is uh, stratosphere, troposphere, atmosphere, and ionosphere. Okay. So the fading effect on the signal due to the variation of transmission medium is more effective at low frequency. But a radio frequency signal is a high frequency signal or is a very high frequency signal. So the effect of feeding is very negligible for a electromagnetic signal. Because the major reason is the signals can travel for longer, longer distances uh, and higher, at higher altitude and with great speed, with higher speed. That's the purpose why the effect of fading is less for an electromagnetic signal. As the height increases, the fading level decreases. And second one is, uh, whenever we are talking about the line of sight, propagation at higher frequencies, the fading effect in a microwave communication is reliable. Means to say that, for example, if I take an antenna as the uh, element which is transmitting the radio frequency signal or the microwave signal, I can move the position or else I can position the antenna in a different angle at a uh, different angle so that the effect of fading is reduced. If I come across that, if the signal is propagating in this direction, the fading uh, level is high, then whenever the angle of the antenna inclination or transmission is changed, then during that time, the fading effect could be reduced. So this is the third advantage of the micro signal. The fading effect is less and it is reliable. We can eliminate. Next. Power requirements. Actually, this is uh, one of the uh, things which is, uh, plays a major important role in any communication. So in a microwave communication, normally uh, here also we, it consists of a transmitter and receiver, but the power required for the transmitter and receiver to operate is pretty low at microwave frequencies compared to a short wave band. Because the electromagnetic signals or the radio frequency signals is available in nature itself. So due to that, the power requirement by that particular device is less. And the next one is transparency properties of a microwave. As you all know, the microwave frequency band is between 300 megahertz to 10 gigahertz or 300 gigahertz they are capable of propagating freely in the atmosphere. So there is no barriers which can stop the propagation of micro signal or the radio frequency signal to atmosphere or in free space. So that's why we call it as transparency properties of microwave. It is easily, be, yeah, the microwave signals can easily penetrate through the different layers of atmosphere. So it is possible for us to track the things which is in darker zones also. So that's why we make use of a microwave signal in radar systems. So uh, as the transparency in a microwave is more, the microwave radiations from the sun and the stars can be studied easily in a astronomical research center of space okay so this is one of the application due to the transparency property of a micro signal next coming for the applications of a micro signal 
where do we find the applications of a micro signal there are various uh, areas or as various uh, regions where the microwave signals are uh, useful the first one is in telecommunication so whatever the signal that is uh, propagating by uh, in a mobile phone they are or else in a telephone they are all micro signals or else they are all electromagnetic signals so the intercontinental telephone system the space communication system and all telemetry uh, for communication links for railway will make use of this microwave signals so the first application of a micro signal is in the area of telecommunications the second application is in radars so can one of you tell what is the radar radio navigation no slight modification required you have studied this in your second pu 10th right yes ma'am radio radio is correct but navigation it's wrong radio and uh, uh, radio radio detection and ranging ma'am is yes, very good so it is radio detection and ranging so uh, detection means to say that first of all whenever you transmit a radio signal to uh, the place wherever you want to detect something first the detection of the object takes place and ranging means say that it calculates at what exact distance at what uh, which place the object is located the best example is you can take the aircraft as an example whenever a aircraft takes off from the uh, uh, airport then the tracking of the aircrafts are done using the radar signal so we will know where exactly the flight is located and what the distance that the flight has traveled away from the airport okay and one more thing is as we are making of the electromagnetic signals they can propagate for a higher uh, altitude with greater speed and moreover the signal to noise ratio will also be less over there so due to that the detection of the aircraft takes place easily so that's why we call it as radio detection and ranging the use of radio frequency signals to detect a object and calculates is range range means to say in radar concept it is distance between the transmitter and the receiver okay so in radars in radar applications also we make us of a microwave signal that is particularly for detection of aircraft or as we can also track the missiles in navy and the weather patterns can also be observed using the radar signals that is where the electromagnetic signals or is micro signals are used in radar systems we also make use of this uh, in air traffic control the garage door openers the speed detectors and all these are the various applications where we make use of the microwave signal or the radio frequency signal for practical applications we also have few of the applications in relevance to commercial and industrial applications okay so the third important application of a microwave signal is you can find it in oven we have a microwave vacuum device which will be placed in a oven so that when you keep some food in the oven it gets heated up or is the food it's heated within 2 to 3 minutes so fast and even in dry machine drying machines also so uh, dyeing machines also we make use of this radio frequency signals or is micro signal that is in textile industry food industry and paper industry whenever we want to dry the items at a other uh, voltages then this i power whichever we have in the microwave frequency uh, the microwave range they will help to process all this drying of clothes in textile industry 
and uh, yeah, compare in food industry if you want yeah, whenever the potato chips are manufactured and it has to be packed before that the uh, micro frequency signals will also help in drying those things and even printed matter also and next even in food processed industry also we find the applications of microwave signals where it is used for pre cooling cooking pasteurizing sterilizing refrigerating roasting and all okay even we find the application of micro signals in our industry plastic industry and other applications like mining public work boring of tunnels breaking of rocks everything and the other biomedical applications are we make use of the micro signals for electromagnetic eating treatment of cancer that is hyperthermia where whole body for cancer therapy is utilized uh, is then the progress is done the testing is done using the microwave applications or as a radio frequency applications okay but here they cannot make use of the x ray instead they make use of a microwave or as a radio uh, radio wave there are few more applications in com uh, combined that is if you want to just classify it at an outlet then the application of microwave is also you can find in wireless communication that is our mobile phones that is cellular phones whatever we are using there we have a micro signal and in cordless phones also where you connected by means of wifi even they make us of microwave signals and even bluetooth etc and in radar and navigation this is used in airborne vehicles and it is also uh, used in weather forecasting and gps that is global positioning system also we are making use of this R, uh, rf signals or as micro signals and we also the application is also found in remote sensing remote sensing means in meteorological centers land surface marine traffic that is submarines whenever a traffic uh, whenever a marines are moving and then uh, whichever is sub immersed in the ocean uh, there should be no clashes between one marine to the other other marines whenever they are under mobility so the remote sensing concept which makes use of the microwave signal is the one which helps to monitor the traffic of the submarines under the ocean so that is one of the advantage which any other signals in the rf uh, spectrum cannot do it and next is rf identification that is toll collection yeah the rf id tax just by the rf id the toll collection could be done tracking of animals everything the security also we make as of micro applications next is even relevance to broadband the am and the fm radio the television whichever we have all those make use of the radio frequency signals and biomedical application in diagnosis that is treatment of cancer and for eating it is baking oven drying machines mining rubber industry and all they make use of microwave applications okay any clarifications with this so until now i covered with this topics that is properties of microwaves advantages and limitations of microwaves then finally the applications of microwave okay so uh, in the communication lab we are conducting the experiments relevant to microwave also uh, so uh, you, it would be one of your viva questions what are the applications of microwave signals what is the range of microwave signals and what are the properties of micro signal or as what are the applications of micro signals okay so this would be possible questions for your viva but this is a basic knowledge when you are studying the micro signal